Hey, I'm here today working on my Digit 850 XCL loader again. Um, what happened was the I was using the loader the other day and the things stopped working all of a sudden, all the hydraulics stopped and um, it started making a banging noise down in the engine compartment. And I assumed that the, something was going on with the hydraulic pump um, so I'll show you guys what's going on and then we'll fix it here. Okay, thanks. So yeah, as you can see what happened is the same issue I've been having with this machine constantly is uh, It looks like the four bolts holding the spacer onto the engine which holds the hydraulic pump Can you see that in there? Yeah. So yeah, it looks like these four bolts holding the spacer on have fallen out and that's been the story with this machine since day one, was that the uh, bolts were just never tightened down properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the two bolts holding the pump onto the other end of the spacer. And I'm going to um, disconnect the pump from that spacer. Then we're going to re-bolt the spacer onto the engine. Maybe I'll be able to find the bolts down there. And then we'll remount the hydraulic pump and I think that'll fix the issue. Um, just wanted to show you guys here. So in order to get at the pump and work at it properly, I hung the pump up with these bungee cords to kind of straighten it again. I tried to slide it back on with the collar, but uh, it just won't go. I need to turn that pump head, I'm sure, a little bit. Um, and also I used another bungee cord here to just tie back all these hydraulic lines. Um, yeah, I'll finish getting those bolts out and we'll take another look. So I got the pump disconnected from the spacer here. Um, you can see that. So now what my plan is, is to uh, figure out what kind of thread goes into the spacer back into the engine block. And then I'll bolt that spacer back on. And then I can align the pump. I might have to disconnect some hydraulic lines but we'll we'll see about that all right be back in a minute hey so i decided i'm gonna take the high pressure lines off of the pump so i can slide it back out of the way then i can line up the collar easier and i can turn the pump motor to line up with the spline gear on the engine um just wanted to show you where these lines are going so the first line is going up to this block here, which controls your uh, joysticks. The second line is coming off and going to the right side valve bank. The third line is coming off and going to this left side valve bank. So we don't get them confused later. I guess it probably wouldn't really matter which one went to which, except possibly the uh, joystick control line, but that's where they go. That's where we'll put them back. So I got the spacer off there. And here's the spline shaft coming off of the, sorry about the camera work. Here's the spline shaft coming off the engine. Here's the pump. And I actually found one of the old bolts sitting down in there. It looks like all the bolt holes are good, like there's no actual damage. They just backed out and the pump fell right off the engine. Um, but now it's totally worth doing because now I can turn the hydraulic motor shaft so it lines up proper, or at least close to proper, and then I can bolt the spacer back on then i'll lift the pump up and bolt the pump on and i just got some rags down there to catch all that hydraulic fluid that's leaking from the high pressure side lines i don't recommend disconnecting the low pressure lines because then you will lose all your reservoir fluid unless you want to drain your reservoir it would make life maybe a bit easier to uh bolt the pump on but I don't think it's necessary okay I'll uh, be back once we get this thing sorted out
Hey guys, so after dumping four inches of rain on us yesterday, I got back at this project here finally. So I pulled the spacer collar, that guy, and uh, I had to get some new bolts because the old ones fell out. So I've now replaced the bolts into the engine block. I just have them loose right now, like they're not quite tight. And I'm just trying to mount this pump back into position here, which is being quite a hassle because the spline shaft has to mate up with the uh, output shaft on the engine. So I've got the spacer in, loosely bolted, and I've got the pump just sitting on those two hold bolts, holding bolts, and it's loose as well. And now I'm going to start tightening those up and I'll just spin that uh, pump a little bit until it lines up, or at least I think I have it lined up and then try and push it all together. All right, I'll be back again. So I managed to get it all back together. That worked pretty well having the uh, spacer in first, then threading the uh, bolts in for the hydraulic pump. Um, it was kind of more or less aligned when I got it started and then the bolts just kind of plunked it right into place there. So now all I gotta do is re-hook up the hydraulic lines uh, we took some pictures of that earlier, so I'll hook those three up, remount my hydraulic cooler, and uh, we should be all done. <laughs> 